Hi. In the previous videos, we've seen how Touche works and how to connect it to your instruments. But to play with Touche, we will need to choose which effects and parameters to control, or just use some presets. To help musicians with this, we've developed Lie, a software that you can launch inside your favorite DAW. To install Lie, please read the instructions written in our quick set guide that you will find inside the box. You can also read our FAQ and manual that you will find on our website. Once you've installed Lie, you can launch your DAW, in this case Ableton, and open Lie in a new MIDI track. To understand how Lie works, let's create a sound together. Lie is a host of plugins, which means that you can host virtual instruments directly within Lie. Therefore, the first thing we want to do is a scan of our available plugins. Let's open the menu, select Settings and open the plugin folder. Then Options and scan for new or updated plugins. Lie will now scan our plugins. Now that we've scanned our plugins, we can go back to the main interface. In the slot center, which is the central part of Lie, the drop down list now lets us select one of our plugins. Choose the one you wish to play with. It is now hosted inside Lie. If we want to see the interface of our virtual instrument, we have to click on the eye icon on top of the slot center. From this window, we can do anything we want within the virtual instrument. In this case, we will use a factory preset from this synth and see how it sounds. Once we are happy with the sound, we want to choose how Touche will control it. We can see that the slot center contains 8 slots. We can choose one parameter for each slot by using the drop down list. For instance, Slot number 1 is going to be cutoff, and slot number 2 is going to be mod wheel. But we have two other ways to select the parameters we want to control. Let's remove the parameters we just added and open the interface of our virtual instrument. We can see that on the top of it, there's eight numbers. Each number corresponds to a slot. Number 1 is slot 1, number 2 is slot 2, etc. If we click on slot 1, and then turn the knob we wish to control, this knob will be mapped to slot 1. In this case, we want the cutoff to be mapped to slot 1 and the mod wheel to slot 2. So we click on slot 1 and turn the cutoff knob, then click on slot 2 and turn the mod wheel. If we go back to the slot center, you can see that the cutoff and the mod wheel are now mapped to slot 1 and slot 2 respectively. But there's a quicker way to do this. Let's remove the parameters we just added. If we go back to the virtual instrument interface, we can see there's a button called Spin Mapping. If we click on Spin Mapping, then on the parameters we want to control, Lie will automatically map them to each slot, starting with slot 1. To map the cutoff to slot 1 and the mod wheel to slot 2, I click on Spin Mapping, then Cutoff and Mod Wheel. And that's it! In only 3 clicks, I have cutoff mapped to slot 1 and mod wheel to slot 2. If we go back to the slot center, you can see that I now have the cutoff and mod wheel mapped. In this video, we've only mapped two parameters, but you can map up to eight parameters, including macros. We chose two parameters to control with Touche, cutoff and mod wheel. But Touche has no action on the sound yet, because we only chose the parameters we want to control, we didn't choose how Touche will control them. Therefore, the next step is to assign each parameter to one of the four shiftings of Touche. We can see that each of the eight slots shows the four shiftings of Touche. Top, bottom, left and right. To assign a parameter, we just have to click on the shifting we want for that parameter. In this case, we want the cutoff to be on the top shifting and the mod wheel on the right shifting. Touche now controls the cutoff and the mod wheel and we can start playing.
With the preset we've done so far, if we don't press on the top shifting, there is no sound at all. This is because the cutoff is assigned to the top shifting, which means that if I don't press on the top, the cutoff is at its minimum value. It will only rise if I press on Touche's top shifting. And because this cutoff is from a low pass filter, if it is at zero, it will filter every frequency, and of course, there's no sound left for us to hear. Therefore, we want the cutoff to be somewhere above zero, even if I don't press on Touche. There's an easy way to do this with Lie minimum and maximum values. Each slot has two sliders, one for minimum and one for maximum. Here, we want the cutoff to be somewhere above zero when we don't press on Touche. Said otherwise, we want the minimum value of the cutoff to be above zero. So we just have to adjust the minimum value slider up to the point we want. To find the right spot, we can play with that Touche and move the slider up until we hear something we like. Now, when we play with Touche, its action and the cutoff begin at the minimum value we just set. On the other hand, when we move Touche to the right, we don't have a nice and subtle vibrato. This is because the mud wheel, which brings the vibrato, whilst brings it a wee bit too much. Therefore, we want to reduce the effect of the mud wheel when I use the right shifting. Said otherwise, we want the mud wheel to have a lower maximum value. So we just have to adjust the maximum value slider down to the point we want. This time, to find the right spot, best is to hold a note and put Touche all the way to the right to hit the maximum value. Then, we can reduce the maximum slider until we hear something we like. Now, when we play with Touche, its action on the mod wheel is limited at the maximum value we just set, which gives us a nice smooth vibrato. We now have a sound that we like. We chose to control the cutoff and the mud wheel. Then we mapped them to slot 1 and slot 2, and we assigned slot 1 to the top shifting and slot 2 to the right shifting. We then adjusted the minimum and maximum values of each slot until we were happy with the sound. Now we want to save it, so we can recall it and play with it later. For that, we just have to open the menu and select Save as Preset. It will ask us for a name. Let's put tutorial. And voila! Our preset appears in the preset list, and the next time we want to play with it, we just have to double click on its name after opening Lie. It will recall the entire configuration, including the virtual instrument, the preset we used from that virtual instrument, the choice of the effects, the choice of the shiftings, the minimum and maximum values, etc. We've seen how to create a sound from scratch and how to save it, but there's still a lot to cover about Touche. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.